I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a Santa Claus composition using foreground, middle ground, and background. I take three fingers over here on the right and I put a dot and I take three fingers on the left and I put another dot. From the first dot, let's do the right, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down, wavy line up, wavy line up, connect. I come over to the left hand side, I'm going to do wavy, wavy, wavy line down, wavy line up, come back to the dot, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. Right underneath the left one, I'm going to draw a curved line. Right underneath the right one, I'm going to draw a curved line. I come back to the left and I draw another curved line up, connect on the left, and another curved line up, connect on the right. Right here in the center, I'm going to draw a curved line up, curved line up, curved line down, curved line off the page. I come back to the left. And I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line off the page. And I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw curved line, curved line, curved line off the page. Right here in the center, I just draw one big curved line over and connect. Starting on the left, I'm going to draw a curved line up, big curved line over, up down, connect. I come up on the right and I draw another big curved line over, down, and off the page. And then down here at the bottom on the left I draw another curved line up, connect, and I can even draw another little curved line up and leave it floating. Okay? I start over here on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, keep going, all the way across, keep going, keep going, keep going, off the page. On top of each one, I'm going to put a triangle, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, one, two triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, one, two. Triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line down, one, two. Big triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line down, one, two. And if you have room, one more. Big triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, one, two. I come back to my first triangle and I go curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now I go back to the left and I draw one, two, three baby circles. 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 Okay. Santa is in the foreground, that's why he's the biggest. My Christmas trees are now the middle ground, the mid-ground, and in just a minute we'll do the background. But we're not done with our trees yet. Starting at the point, I go straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. The easiest way to make a star. 
straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Again, straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Keep going, straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. One more, straight line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Okay? All right. So Santa's foreground. This is the Christmas trees are our midground. Now we're going to do the background. Watch what I do. I'll do one right here so you can see it. I put a dot and then I draw curve line, curve line, curve line, and I leave it open. Watch again. Put a dot, curve line, curve line, curve line, and leave it open. I think these look like stars. I had somebody say no, they look like little snowflakes. So it's really whatever you want, but whatever you do, it's in the background. Okay? So wherever you have a space, you put a dot, and then you go curve line, curve line, curve line, and leave it open. I don't know why it's important to leave it open, but it is. Maybe to make it look like it's shining. So, if you have room, dot, curve line, curve line, dot, curve line, curve line, dot, curve line, curve line, dot, curve line, curve line. I think they're stars. Dot, curve line, curve line, and maybe the curve lines are the sparkle. Curve line, curve line. Now, you get done with your background, look at it, see if there's any more spaces where you can put one more in. Maybe one more here, dot, curve line, curve line. I think that's it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, <clears throat> this is pretty intense to color, so I'm going to say what I always say. Do it in sessions. You don't have to do the whole project all at one time. You know, color Santa in first. This is all Santa. This is his hat. You know, and again, like I always say also, if you're coloring so hard, your hand hurts. Take a break. Okay? But this is his hat, so this is all going to be red. Then, he's got those blue eyes, so I did turquoise for his eyeballs. And then, if you have face color. I went ahead and this is his nose. So see, the foreground, he's so big, you can't even see the rest of his face. So I went ahead and did this section all with like a light apricot or peach. If you've got pink, you can do a light pink just to kind of make a differentiation between these white eyebrows and the tip of his top of his hat. Okay, so it doesn't look so white. Then, if you have time, then you can do your Christmas trees. And the more time you take to color everything in really nicely, the better it looks. And if you do it by color, it makes it go a little bit quicker. So I'm going to use my red, <clears throat> excuse me, and do all my little Christmas ornaments. Come back in, do my stars yellow. And again, maybe day one or session one, you can do Santa. Maybe the next session, you can do your Christmas trees in the midground. And then the last part you'll do is the background. Then on my tree, I left the top part white and I just colored the little part down here at the bottom green. Okay? Now, you can use any colors you want. These are the colors I chose. It's up to you. It's your artwork. Okay? And the last part on the trees, I added brown for my tree trunks. Okay? Alright, so that could be session two. Session one, coloring Santa. Session two could be doing your Christmas trees. Now, the last part is only one color blue, but sometimes it can be the most difficult part because you have to go around all these other things. You got to make sure you don't mess up your trees. You don't want to get 
any kind of blue inside your little stars. So you have to take your time on doing the background. The background is probably even more difficult to do than the foreground or the midground because you have to jump over all your drawings. You don't want to color through your coloring that you've just spent all this time doing. So take your time and like I said, maybe doing the background would be session number three. So session one is Santa, session two is doing your trees, your Christmas trees, and session three can be doing all this background. And you do want to do the whole entire sheet, whole entire space I should say, because it really makes your picture pop. And we always want Santa to pop, okay? So you bring it all the way down, carefully go around the trees, the stars, all of the above. Okay, I think that's all. It's not real difficult, it's just time consuming. All right, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Santa all colored in, ready for the holidays. Okay, bye-bye.